Doesn't that look good, you guys? That's like a smell cam right there. That's like a good burger. You know that's a good burger when that starts happening. It's all. What is going on, you guys? Your boy Norris Vlogs here. And before we start the video today, we have two special shout outs going to two very special people. One going to Erickson Billy, who is the founder and creator of Blue Nadan Sweets. So Blue Not Don Sweets, he has this available at Phoenix Indian Medical Center selling um, pretty much everything that's, you know, blue corn. So it's pretty good because we love blue corn. So yeah, you guys better go check it out. So um, out of Chandler, Arizona, you know, uh, through, through the recipes, you know, there's been trial and errors just as I do on my cooking channel as well. So um, he does uh, pre-orders on Cupcake Saturdays and Cookie Sundays. And... He starts midweek sweets from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, right out of the Phoenix Indian Medical Center selling blue corn cupcakes, blue corn cookies and pine nuts and blue mush for early morning risers on Wednesdays. So you can find Eric's and Billy on Facebook. That is his Facebook name or on Instagram at Blue Not Don Sweets. It's really nice that he's doing this down in the valley for those who really want to see some really good uh, Navajo cooking. And that's basically what it is. And you guys go hit him up and tell him that you saw him on your boy Norris vlogs and get your blue corn mush today. Pre-order it. And the other one is going to my bro over at Tuba City Subway, Kyle. He works at Subway in Tuba City. Shout out to one of my Hopi followers, Kyle Samukavai. You know, I'm sorry, bro, if I chopped up your name. But, you know, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for making my Subway sandwich. And thank you for noticing me. And it was an honor to have you make my Subway sandwich. And I shall see you at Subway for another sandwich. Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to your boy Norm's Vlogs. And you guys are always saying, Norm, you know, more cooking shows, more cooking stuff on the channel. So you ask and you shall receive. Today, we are making America's pastime. What is more American than that Ford Mustang right there? It is a good outside burger, okay? So today we're gonna make a really, really burger that is to die for. And when I say to die for, I mean that in a good way. So right here, you have your most premium chuck beef available on the market today. This is chuck ground beef. And this is the type of burger that you really wanna use for a hamburger outside on the grill. And now remember, when you cook this burger, it shrinks in size, okay? So now what you wanna do first is you're gonna have to wanna go ahead and put some of this olive oil on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle it on there, just like that. Okay, next you wanna get some salt. Just like that to it. Mm. Man, my mouth is already watery, you guys. I know how <laughs> this is gonna taste already. Oh, you know what? You know what, babe? What? Right. I'm gonna be like um, Emerald. Like this <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you wanna go ahead and just add some pepper. I'm telling you guys, this thing is a good tip for my weekend warriors out there that wanna make this at, at their house. You wanna get McCormick's um, Grill Mates Hamburger Seasoning. This stuff, whatever they put in it, might be crack, <laughs> whoever knows, but it tastes good with the burger. So you just wanna go ahead and sprinkle some on top of it, just like that, okay? Now, now with this going on, you wanna make sure that your grill is nice and hot. So you wanna have it up to about 400 degrees on low. So as you can see, we got our grill nice and hot. Now the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pick up your hamburger patty. And then you can see we have some leftover residue right here. You want to just go ahead and mop it up okay you see that's a little trick that i did mopping it up and then you want to lay it down okay so there and then just mop up all that salt and all that leftover seasoning that didn't make it to the ground beef just like that lay it down oh man if you guys can smell this man i wish i had a smell cam so you could smell all these herbs and spices going down on this grill you know generally when you when you're when you're working with burgers it, it's, it takes less than about eight minutes to cook a hamburger really so we're gonna let that baby cook and now when that's going on the grill you want to multitask to do a couple of things what I have over here made already this is something very simple that you guys can make at home this is basically just mayo and ketchup babe saw me making this earlier and she's like what are you making so this is just mayo and ketchup that's gonna be for our think of this as like a, as a sandwich spread for your bun now, next thing you want to start working on is your onions, okay? Okay, so now the same thing that you did with the uh, 
With the hamburger patties, you want to go ahead and dress up your onion just like that, okay? So just go ahead and bam, that kicks it up a notch, bam, just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna hit it with some pepper. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and get out your hamburger buns. So with the hamburger buns, I give you guys options just like I always do. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this hamburger bun. You can use any type of bun in the world that you want as long as it's a bun, okay? So with this bun right here, this is Auntie Hades with the sesame seeds on it. Because you know, back when I, when I was a kid, you know, I've always wanted to have a Krabby Patty. So I'm pretty sure you guys always wanted to have a Krabby Patty yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and get this ready while our burger is getting ready as well. So now you want to go ahead and then make sure that your burger is cooking. Now the number one tip out there for burger cooking on the grill is that you don't want to flip it too much. If you flip it too much, it's going to start breaking up and then it's going to start looking kind of ugly. And then it's going to start looking like, you're just cooking ground beef on the grill, not hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your aunties to say that to you. You don't want your cousins or your in-laws to say that. They're going to be like, hey, what's he cooking on the grill over there? He's just cooking ground beef. <laughs> You don't want that to happen. So that's still cooking. When you start seeing blood on the top of the hamburger, that's when you're gonna flip. So now we're gonna come back over here. And then remember, the top bun, we call that hat, okay? So so think of it as a hat, okay? This is a hat and this is the pants. You wanna dress your pants and then put your hat on last, okay? Now, go ahead and come back over here. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing, but different. Now, right here is butter, okay? now. Butter is to give you that nice, toasty looking feeling on your burger, okay? So just go ahead and dip a little bit. You can warm this up in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so. Just make sure it doesn't blow. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put the butter on both sides, okay? Just like that. Add just a little bit of salt, tap it on there, okay? Now put the top up and then just go ahead and just lightly lightly dress the top bun just like that okay now you guys are probably thinking at home why is he putting butter on there <laughs> but trust me you guys it's gonna taste good this is a good burger this is one of my burgers that you're gonna have to die for something that you want to try at home to show mom and dad so now i can smell our burgers cooking and then we got some good things in the works here okay you guys so now with the burgers cooking then you can start seeing the flames this is when you want to check it okay Remember to cook your burgers on a low temperature. If you cook it straight up on a hot temperature around five, 600 degrees, well, you might burn your house down, <laughs> okay? So don't, don't cook it at a high temperature, cook it on a low temperature. So now, oh yeah, look at that. Now we're cooking, now we're cooking. Yeah, if, if babe can see the blood on top, that means we're ready to start cooking. So watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and flip it. Just like that. Oh, talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Hi, babe. Good. <laughs> right. So now, with that one flip of the burger, it's going to start cooking and start rising. So now, with what you did earlier with the buns, this has a demonstration. Now, you want to go ahead and then use the mop technique, okay? So with the mop technique, just go ahead and dab here and there on it, okay? So now, put these to the side and then just start prepping the other stuff on it. Now you want to flip it again just like that oh baby talk to me talk to me baby seen ratatouille remember when ratatouille goes like this that's what i'm doing right there so now with this one going on remember keep keep your burger going on low and then on the other side of the burner you want to kick the other side of the burner up right now because you know once these once this starts going you want to have your buns cooking as well on the side so with this one getting nice and hot and then that one going with what we were making, goes down, 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 and then guess what? Down, down again. Woo wee! Anybody can cook, you guys. It's not only me. I'm showing you guys these recipes because 
you guys can tweak it a little and then you guys can mess around with it. But not only that, this is what I love to show you guys. Cooking is a labor of love. Just keep that in mind, okay? Now notice how I am not really flipping the burger too much, okay? That's one thing that you don't want to do. That's a little tip for the weekend warriors. Don't flip your burgers too often. So now we got our burgers still all together, which is good. Now, perfect, beautiful. That's what you want to see. That's why I was putting the butter on these buns. So now, you want to go ahead and take off all of the buns off the grill, just as is. Oh man, that's not even fair, you guys. Look at that. Now remember, the butter on this side still needs to cook. So you want to flip this bad boy over just like this, okay? They're getting really happy. You want to know how I know they're getting happy? They're talking back to me, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, so now this is where you're gonna put the onions on. Now, I go with purple onions. The reason why I go with purple onions is because it's less acidic and it's easier to digest with the burger. I mean, you could go with the sweet onion or you could go with the, uh, a regular yellow onion, but it's just too strong. This is perfect for a burger. So that's another weekend tip for my weekend warriors out there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this one on top. Okay. Now the reason why I put the onions on top is because if I put it straight to the grill grates on the bottom, it's just gonna start cooking, then it's gonna start sticking. We don't want that to happen. So that's why we're gonna let that cook on top, get that nice flame broiled taste in there. So now look at this, beautiful brown top buns and bottom. I am proud of myself with that, you guys. That looks really good. So now, if you can see the white bubbles on here, that means that it's getting done. It's getting well done. Oh man. Now we're gonna let that cook for a little bit while longer. So now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna start dressing your food because this is all gonna happen at once. So now go ahead and grab this on here. Put it just like that. Just like that. Oh. Can I have more on mine? You want more on yours? Yeah. Okay, babe, you get more on yours. There. And just go ahead and do this. Sprinkle it on here. Just like that. Now, with the lettuce, any type of lettuce is good. Iceberg lettuce, long leaf lettuce, as long as you're not using a cabbage. <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna go ahead and then grab this and then just lay it down on here, just like that. Now, typically with the long leaf lettuce, it's gonna look better for presentation wise, but you know, this is all we could have right now. Cause of the lockdown. Cause of all the lockdown. <laughs> okay, so now that's looking good. Now we're gonna put the cheese directly on the burger patty. Oh yeah, let that melt. Oh, sorry. There ain't nothing like sauteed onions on a grill. It smells so good. It's just like a different flavor. So now we're gonna let that melt on the burger. And now that we have everything prepped and ready. Mmm, smells like a flea market. This right here? This ain't no ginger burger, okay? This is something that's a little bit more advanced than a ginger burger. But although when I do go to the ginger in the second night, Oh, wow, Jay, it's going. Oh, where's the burger stand? There's no, I'm looking around. But that's, <laughs> this is smelling good. Babe. Huh? You know what it smells like? What? It smells like second night. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like second night out here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so now, I want to go ahead and look at that beautiful, beautiful burger on there. Okay. okay. There we go. Now we're going to put the nice sauteed onions on there and then put the top half. Now, you guys want to see some magic? Yeah, it's straight down. Oh, that looks so good. Check this out, you guys. Now that is a burger to die for. There you have it. My classic burger, a burger to die for. Anybody can do this at home. Beautiful, nice pink center in the middle. Oh, now my favorite part of the video you guys wish you could taste this food that I'm making. Regina, she has it every time we make this video. But watch out. Mmm. Mmm. Wanna try it? Okay. Wanna try it? Yeah. Mmm. Making Time me in. stand here watching. <laughs> <laughs> You're standing on this table recording. How's it taste? That's so good. Okay, you guys, we're signing off right now. We're gonna enjoy our burgers, a burger to die for. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a huge like. 
make sure to subscribe and become a part of the family and then if you guys ever do try the recipes that i do make on the channel make sure to tag me in it please i love seeing how you guys make my recipes at home and watch out another one another one this looks so good my mouth is watering like right now i can <laughs> let me just get a bite another one. Oh my god try my burger to die for your boy norms approved we'll see you guys on the next video go Steelers. We got the Philadelphia Eagles tomorrow in the Berg. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.